quarterback everyone while some consider him one of the province's all-time greatest hockey players and his talent paved the way for a generation to follow at 80 george faulkner is still an inspiration here's ntv's mark dwyer the hockey bag for over seven decades and just weeks short of his 81st birthday George Faulkner is still lacing them up yes time has been in the quick hands and powerful stride to help him turn pro in the mid 1950s but they're still demanding an encore in the dressing room Much and little has changed since George Faulkner honed his skills on the Exploits River, playing shitty with his brothers as Newfoundland's first family of hockey. This is where it all started, you know. We, modern hockey wasn't in our vocabulary. You know, we didn't know what it was. Well, you knew the pond. But we knew where the pond was. Incredibly, the Bishop Falls native played his first organized game at 15, breaking into the Grand Falls senior circuit in the late 1940s. News of his talent soon reached the mainland, and at 20, already with a herder title under his belt, George Faulkner joined the junior ranks and the Quebec Citadels. And I, I was leaving Bishop Falls uh, with a population of about 3,000 people, and going to Quebec City with uh, 285,000, and, and about 90% of them were French-speaking. Yeah. You know, it wasn't easy. The, the, the hard part of it was after I got there and, and, and trying to stay there. Yeah. Bellymore, Harvey, and the entire Montreal Canadian organization. Playing in Quebec, the Montreal Canadiens took notice, and in the fall of 1954, the Habs wanted a closer look at camp, his first of three tryouts at the Forum. It was so special that I didn't know what to think about it. You know, especially when, uh, when I'd be in the Canadiens dressing room, you know, before a practice, uh, dressing right in the same dressing room, and looking across at Rocket Richard and Doug Harvey and, and Billabo and Boom Boom and Dickie Moore and, uh, you know, Tom Johnson and Jacques Platt, all this crap. I mean, I hardly know what to do, you know? President Clarence Campbell presents the Stanley Cup. George Faulkner, history confirms, was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Cracking that lineup of legends was near impossible as the club would win four straight Stanley Cups. Came prepared for a Canadian victory. While the Habs were hoisting Stanley, George Faulkner would spend four solid seasons as our first pro, starting for the Canadiens' firm team in Chewinigan Falls. He'd return home in 58 to become a senior hockey legend, winning nine herder titles. And I had four years pro hockey under my belt, and I came back one summer and I said, well, I haven't made the Canadians and they haven't traded me, and I don't think I'm going to make the Canadians the way they're playing, yeah. so I might as well look for something back home. <laughs> As for the NHL, his little brother Alex would become Newfoundland's first big leaguer, a one-game stint with the Leafs in 61 before leading the Detroit Red Wings the following year in the playoffs. Alec Faulkner, the blonde islander with a Sunday punch, was in the big time in a big way. In a career filled with accomplishments, George Faulkner lived his dream in 66, donning a Team Canada jersey, firing a team leading seven goals to win bronze at the World Championships in Yugoslavia. He was 33, leading a club that would produce eight NHLers. And we, we won most of our games, you know, and the, the, to line up on the blue line after the game and the, and the, and the flag, the Canadian flag raised, he was a great Sure, Alex would live the NHL dream, and a generation of players from this province would follow, even win the cup. But many suggest George Faulkner was among our greatest. And at 80, he's still going strong. I think I should soon, but we'll wait for that time to come. The game, he says, the one he fell in love with on the Exploits River, is still in his heart. It's about blades and ice, and those moments in the dressing room that, always the entertainer, George Faulkner is still wowing teammates.
No, George Faulkner did not win the Stanley Cup or even play a single game in the National Hockey League, but he is remembered as one of the greatest players to ever play the game in this province, and perhaps his greatest achievement is the fact that at 80, he's still lacing them up. For TV Sports, I'm Mark Dwyer.